Hi. Hi, Grace. How are you? Good. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, on behalf of the team, thank you. So I have to say the show has a pretty, like, has a more adult vibe than I anticipated, which is cool. Yeah. Uh, but I'm curious, what made you guys decide to go in that direction? Luckily, uh, that decision was made well before I was involved on this show. Uh, that 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 comes by way of, you know, uh, um, uh, Bo DeMeo, uh, Brad Wonderbaum, Dana Vasquez, uh, Everhart. They worked in tandem to figure out what sandbox, you know, the show needed to be, you know, uh, uh, from from Bo DeMeo's initial Bible uh, to episode the, the season finale that was all just we know what kind of show we want to tell uh my involvement when i was brought on was it was to figure help figure out the visual sandbox you mm -hmm. know to help really, so not only do we have good stories to help you know perpetuate and and more you know older themes right but how to visually keep it the show you remember but also still be in 4k and also relevant and up to par with what you know our my, my my peers and friends and coworkers are doing in the industry and just raising the bar for animation right and the medium in general so well since you're in charge of the visuals i got to say i thought that there were these really cool action moments in every episode that almost feel like a trading card moment <laughs> was that it was that intentional uh yes and no look uh, that's the best part on working in something like x men this ip is rich with with tons of resources and references and and whatnot so it's what I what I will say is I absolutely implore uh, the audience and fans alike to uh, try to see what they can find. Ooh, you're throwing the gauntlet down. Yeah. Oh yeah. Well, Morph uh, Morph was uh, doing a lot of cameos there. I was like, ah, I see why you have Morph. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, yeah. Great. well, who's your favorite X Men on the show? Oh, that's that. See, it's so funny because that that. Look to my to my core, uh, Storm Gambit and Wolverine are, are my favorites. But that that I one of my favorite things to talk about is uh, growth and what adulthood means. And I feel like childhood is I love Wolverine. He he goes where he wants to go. That's great, you know. And then on getting older, being in uh, you know a chair of leadership and and you know wanting to take care of the team and and be a provider. It's like, man, I think I get Scott. Like leadership's messy. You know, he's like, not complaining. He has a responsibility. Thank right, you. Yeah, yeah. It's like he's just trying to get everybody home alive, man. Damn. <laughs> you know. So like, and I was like, oh, that, that's true growth is is understanding. Okay. You know, and and but to that point too, like Cyclops on on a technical level has been one of my favorite X Men to to do storytelling with because you know there's so much melodrama. There's there's so much acting. There there we rely on the facial expressions and. The, you know the love triangles to 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 get all that how do you do all those expressions all that subtextual acting with a character who has none of this no eyebrows well, and, and one shot you showed his eyes through the visor which i thought was very interesting it's cheats it's that was a big choice that yeah, was a big yeah. choice a a and, and the best part is that isn't too uncommon from the og show that's an actual canonized thing that the original show did so where there where they set those stuff we had precedent to like oh they've explored that already let's put that in there um and and to that point when when we and we don't do that often because you know that's a kind of you don't see oh, stuff yeah. Nice. oh yeah i checked right. i was like are they yeah. doing that all the time i was like no that was special. oh no no and and to that point but how do you get that emotion without eyebrows his glints having cyclops's glints be his emotional range when he's got his visor on or his glasses that's how we did it so for example, you know, if he's pondering or or he's got a somber, you know, somber demeanor, that slow glint wipes across the screen. If he's mad or if he's like getting hurt, quick glint or flare or you know it. So it's finding my answer changes week to week, day to day, depending on what episode I'm working on or what mutant I'm getting to draw. Because it's like, oh, this is we this is a cool unique problem. How do we fix it? What if we did lightning? That's awesome, you know. So it's it it's so hard to answer that in tandem with the show, but as a fan. Gambit wow. will, so. You're a genius. I can't wait to see what else you have uh, cooked up for the season. Thank you for your ah. time. Awesome. Thank you so much, Grace. Appreciate it. Bye. Take care.